Hi, I'm Chris Dyerwalt, and this, gosh darn it, is Power Play Internet. How you doing? So here's the thing. Uh, the Clintons set up a foundation after Bill Clinton left the White House. And it has moved a lot of money. And I mean a lot of money, uh, like at least a half of a billion dollars worth of money and maybe much more. They say that it funds worthwhile projects, saves lives, prevents childhood obesity, and does all manner of good things. But we now know also that people who had business to do with Hillary Clinton when she was the Secretary of State put a lot of money into it, and a lot of those people who put the money into it got some face time with her. Now, there's been no evidence, no proof of any kind that Hillary Clinton violated the law, but it's gross. So does it matter? Does anybody particularly care? Does it affect the outcome of the election? Who could we ask? Who could we ask? Well, I know we could ask Sean Noble because he's going to say yes. He's a Republican. Uh, he is a founding partner, hmm, fancy, at D.C. London. Uh, but he's a uh, Arizonan. He's uh, kind of a big deal. He's a Republican strategist. You can hire him. Uh, Taryn Rosencrantz is new to you, but I think you will like her. I do. She is the CEO of New Blue Interactive. That means she's a Democrat. She used to work at the DCCC, uh, and she hopes that Hillary Clinton lives long and prospers. Okay, guys. She's actually the bigger deal. Oh, <laughs> obviously. That goes without saying, Sean. Right. Come on. Uh, all right. Uh, Taryn, question. Sure. Um, once the Clinton Foundation said that the Clinton Foundation needed to eventually stop accepting foreign contributions, shouldn't they have just said they were going to stop accepting foreign contributions? Well, I mean, she's not president of the United States right now. And I understand. And that's an unprecedented opportunity. And so I think we need to be clear that as we take that unprecedented step, that yes, that's when they should be take, should be stopping. But why shouldn't you stop? So that would be like if I were to say, people think that I take bribes to get onto this show. I don't do it. There's a, but however, there is a box that will remain outside of this door. And anybody that wants to put a rack of ribs or some bacon or anything in it, between now and Thursday, you can just put it in, you can still put it in the box but not after that. Why not just say because it's over? Because you got a charity that's got an A rating, okay, from the American Institute of Philanthropy mm. and from Charity Watch. It's got an A rating. It gives over $11.5 million in life-saving medicine to people in Africa. Here's the thing. If we just stop today without right. having the sort of gradualness of what those donations they're depending on, we're actually stopping charitable good from happening. And so I feel strongly it's not the timing until Sean, she becomes why do you why do you want people to die? <laughs> why are you want to Why do you want to kill children? <laughs> I, that's typically what I wanted to have happen. Yeah, but, exactly. You know, I, I think what the, the, what's crazy to me is that we're having this discussion now. She should have stopped the foreign contributions when she yeah. became Secretary of State. Yeah. This is a this is a conversation that is seven years too late, and for them to say, "Oh, well, now just as she's now thinking about the possibility that she's be the President of the United like States, will start to unwind this." I mean. In some ways, it's even more nefarious that she was the Secretary of State and taking these donations from foreign nationals. And given, I mean, like you said, there's no proof of any criminal right. wrongdoing. Right. But the fact that there are 85, more than half of the people that she had sit down non meetings government, with, uh, non-governmental right. people that she had that were donors or their companies donated to her foundation, that is really suspect. If there was any member of Congress that was kind of so doing that kind of thing, so Terry Taren, would be going Taren, crazy. I know that Kentucky Fried Chicken is delicious. And I know that it's delicious because <laughs> I've, been eat, I've, I've, been eat, I've been eating it since I was five years okay. old. And I know that every fishing trip I went on with my dad, we got to eat Kentucky Fried Chicken. Okay. And that we got to throw the bones in the lake. Right. And that was good. Um, I don't need to eat a lot of Kentucky Fried Chicken today to know that it's still good. One bite tells me mm -hmm. it's still good. The problem with the Clintons is... You don't need a lot. The things that you're saying make sense, mm -hmm. but when you have the track record where you go back to things like Mark Rich and the pardons, and we go back to other points of uh, in history, uh, even going back to Whitewater and stuff like that, where there's this predicate history here with the Clintons of deals that stink and things that look shady from the outside and now they say well this is all on the up and up you understand why this is a liability right well i can see why you're going to go and pursue that when you are the opposition when you're the opponent i can but see this why is that's the ap but, but this is but we're not but talking the here AP, about they looked at 185 meetings out of oh. 17,000 officials you met and i want to get back to that 85 number yes you're right melinda gates you said if any member of congress yes members of congress have met with melinda gates she's a one of the world's top philanthropists and that is one of those 
those 85 people. And there is no evidence of wrongdoing. I well, can't say that 80... so many million times. So it's like, yes, you're right. Oh, Melinda Gates met with her. But the Shocking. other, but the other I mean, four, the other 80, Gates to is be not, fair, you know. But to be fair, the other 84 weren't Colonel Harlan Sanders, right? It wasn't, they we're weren't all Melinda Gates. Foreign nationals. I mean, foreign, you know, representatives of foreign governments, the Saudis, you know, you name it. I mean, it's one thing for Bill Clinton to be in the White House renting out the Lincoln bedroom to, you know, his Hollywood it's 90, friends. It's 90s, the, 90s nostalgia. Yeah, 90s yeah. nostalgia. Yeah. But, the, even, but at yeah. this point, we're now going to rent it. So, so under this scenario, we're going to have another Clinton in the White House, and the Lincoln bedroom's not going to be to Hollywood celebrities. It's going to be to foreign nationals. Will it matter? It'll matter. It, what? This will, this will what? Be, this will become a sticking point, and this is just yet another thing that they've got to contend with. And it's AP. It's not like some right-wing right. rat. And you believe this is priced into Hillary Clinton's stock. People are her honest and trust. The fact that that she's winning the ballot test by so much, and her honest and trustworthy actually, numbers smell like I a really skunk. I really believe that the Clinton Foundation, with their A rating, with all the good work I they're know, doing, I know, but just no, on but the I politics, think put it on that. But I put it on the foundation. You, I think that you think people this are having in, a harder time. This is priced right. into her stock price. The the buyers already know that this is part of her, and this is already priced in, so it's not. Have an I think effect. that they think there's no wrongdoing with this charity. I don't know that that's what they think, but <laughs> I know that that's what you think. And thank you guys for coming to tell us what you think. Thank you. And you, Internet, you are always telling us what you think. And please keep on doing that. And come back for more Power Play real soon.